because I think that's that's very important. Let, it's, well, it's, let, it's let's important. Let, let's do Holy Week first because it's okay. next week for for us as we're recording this. Yes, and yes. Uh, this just goes back to the comments that I'd said earlier. There's plenty of stuff online about it. Father Chicada has written and created videos about it. Um, so I would refer people go and read all that stuff first and yeah. try to attack the truth. Don't try to attack your feelings and defend the congregation that gives you mass and say, well, because they're so holy, they must be right. Say, it's okay, people can be wrong. It's okay for people to be wrong. It doesn't make them sinning. That the uh, And I've said on Holy Week particularly that I'm willing to accept the CMRI argument. I think that this was something that would have to go to arbitration with the Holy Father later on. The Holy mm -hmm. Father, if we have a restored church, then we would have a Holy Father say, rule on this issue. How was the conduct? What was the correct way of giving? Well, would it, would it be I, a mortal sin to recognize and resist Pius, no, no, uh, Pius the Twelve? No, no. You, uh, no in, fact, it's the, in fact, it's the opposite. It, you, it is a Catholic rite promulgated by a Catholic Pope. You cannot say such a thing. So um, you, you commit no sin by attending the so-called reformed liturgies of Pius the Twelfth. It is a Catholic right. You cannot say anything against it. It was so to by not. So, but then again, then the flip side to not do it. Then wouldn't that be a mortal sin? You're 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 disobeying the Pope. No, no, it, because it's a question of, and I would use a military analogy, and the same applies in church teaching, which is if you have a situation in which, let's say, you're told to guard this hill. Okay, that was your last order. My order is I'm I'm guarding this hill. And then you receive no orders for 60 years. <laughs> and it seems that the sounds of battle have moved on. And you look over the hill and you don't see any enemies. And you're thinking, but I was told to guard the hill. That was the last valid order I said. Our Lord also believes in this thing called common sense. And it is this idea of applying norms of common sense to uh, against what church positive law is. So you say, okay, well, the Holy Father said this. It's true the Holy Father said that. He did. Do you think that the Holy Father would approve the new mass? Because if you if you look at the the, the the analogy, it's like, yes, it's a Catholic rite. It was approved by Pius XII, but would he have approved the Novus Ordo? No, he wouldn't have. And so this Holy Week is inside the Novus Ordo, almost unchanged. Mm -hmm. So part of why people resist it is we think with all that we've learned, it's like sitting and saying, I'm going to guard this hill and now 50 years have passed. So yes, uh, Pius XII told us to do these changes, and you could have accepted it reasonably within some time period after. But now so many years have passed, you think, no, we're going back. And that would be the explanation you would give. We get court-martialed by our commanding officer, or in this case, the bishop. I think I would be in good conscience be able to say, Your Excellency, we had no orders for 60 years. This is the Mass that, as it was done. We also want to do to the Holy Week as it was done in that time period under Pius X. And so we're, we were sticking with that. I have a reasonable explanation as to why I'm doing it. And the people who promote the Pius XII Holy Week, I think that they have a reasonable explanation for it as well. I would put it to, it's to be decided by a future Holy Father, or mm -hmm. if the, the final yeah. judgment comes first, by our Lord. In a sense, I I think that the, the priests have argued and, you know, go and, go and draw your own conclusions. But you cannot say that it's a mortal sin to attend the Pius XII. That's a ridiculous statement. Mm. And you, it's a Catholic rite. It is permitted to be attended. It's just that there are problems. For anybody who studied the New Mass, uh, the Pius XII yeah. uh, reforms are riddled. And if you look, Pius XII did things and then retracted them. He, he issued a Psalter, which two years later he pulled back. He authorized the Chinese. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm. And two years later, he pulled it back. So mm. this idea that, well, maybe two years later, Pius XII would have removed this Holy Week. So this idea is that since he did it, and it was the last thing he did, that it would have continued for a thousand years. We don't know that. There were a number of things that were done that were not permitted. If you go back to, is it the Council of Constance? Um, I might be wrong on the council, but uh, the Eucharistic cup was permitted for Czechia, Moravia at the time because there was such division from the Lutherans. But it turned out that the Catholics had seen that as a point of division. So they refused to use the Eucharistic cup, even though it was permitted to them by indults. And so then it faded from use. So the church permitted people to receive the precious blood as Roman Catholics, and the people had not asked for it. They didn't really want it. And so it was, the indult was removed after a couple of years. And so the That's idea- That's very that interesting. Church, I, I didn't if, know if that. the church mm -hmm. does something Therefore, it's always going to be done. The church can remove something. 
Uh, and I think that that's the implied position of the pre-55 people is that if if I were to be questioned by a future ordinary of my diocese or by the Holy Father, I would have a reasonable argument to give. And I think mm -hmm. the Pius XII people have a reasonable argument to give as well. So that's why I don't I don't push back as much as I do on Unicum. I don't think Unicum's mm -hmm. a reasonable argument like, oh, I have to go to Mass. Like, Show me where it says that. Show me it's where it right. says you have to go to Mass in order to be saved. But um, as far as the Pius XII Holy Week, I can understand why some people would make that. Mm -hmm. That's why I... I've said publicly that I don't have a problem with that.